The Nationals leader, David Little Proud, speaking live. Experience to this place helps for our democracy to be stronger. I'm proud of the structures that the Nationals have put in place to identify people like Jacinda Price and others that we brought to this place that can be promoted because they have that lived experience. That's a good thing for our democracy. And while I'm proud of the fact that I had negotiations with Peter and we've been, while it's above our quota, um, the main thing is that this is the right decision for the coalition. This is the right decision for the nation to have the lived experience in this place. Not ideologues that have lived in capital cities, that have never stepped outside a capital city, that are trying to make decisions for those uh, that live outside our capital cities. That's what we say to people across this country, while we only represent those outside capital cities. Please seek to understand us, the lived experience that we have and what we can share and what we can bring to those that are most disadvantaged that don't live in the capital cities. How does this, how does this work on, on Sunday? Jacinta Price effectively said that she supported the federal government or the Commonwealth taking over the child protection system. Do you support that and how do you reconcile that with your opposition to having decisions made out of Canberra? Well, this is being done by state and territories and when there is abject failure, abject failure, particularly in the Territory, the Northern Territory, uh, you have a judicial responsibility uh, when you're in government to keep every Australian safe. And when a level of government isn't doing that, you have a responsibility as elected official to try and to bring forward solutions that will protect those children, to protect every Australian. That's common sense. That's your responsibility. That is the privileged position that we've been given when we're elected to this place. And not to do something about it uh, is, is dangerous. And what I would say is... Uh, Jacinta is being very clear about the practical solutions that need to come in where there is failure, where there is failure. Of the... Well, I think I think we have to be practical about this. Where there isn't abject failure, then you have to have to look at where intervention isn't required. But let's be let's use common sense. That should be the yardstick that we use in decision making, not the bureaucratic approach that what might be easy for those those. People we love so much, those bureaucrats, but they go in the cold sweats when they can't tick every box and they have to think a little bit outside the box because it doesn't fit the model that's easy for them to implement and to actually manage. So Lily, for that. Price. Sorry. Yeah. So how does Jacinda Price's appointment work under the coalition agreement? Yes. Peter doesn't agree to place another national in cabinet above the that's, yeah. that's exactly right. There's, uh, it's the brutal game of arithmetic is politics and so too is the coalition agreement around the representation. Uh, but I think this is a mature uh, conversation that Peter and I have about what was the best thing, not just for the coalition, what was the best thing for our nation? Uh, and bringing that lived experience of what we are all, as a nation, trying to solve the disadvantage of Indigenous Australians that invariably are in rural and remote areas. Why would you not bring forward someone that has lived that experience at every, at every level? That is a mature conversation that Peter and I, because of the relationship that Peter and I have, are able to go beyond just pure numbers to think about the greater good of what we can bring to the national conversation. That is a good thing for our democracy. That tells us that our democracy is stronger because we're prepared to have those mature conversations to go above that brutal game of, a pro of a arithmetic and to make sure we do this in the best interest of the country. I'll move, I'll move around. Keep coming in. Mr Leverhard, you talk about not adding layers of bureaucracy, but just Senator Price and uh, Peter Dutton are backing legislative, local and regional voices. How, how does that not add to bureaucracy if you're going to have bodies all over Australia that then have to make representations to Canberra? No, no this, this is about actually having people on the ground empowering local elders. Uh, and this is where, if you look at the, the Langton report, 24 to 27 representatives from across the country. A couple set aside for regional Australia. Let me give you a practical experience. My electorate is 730,000 square kilometres, nearly 10% of the Australian land mass. Indigenous communities in Warwick are totally different to Kunnamulla, as they are in Wadair to Alice Springs. And to think that you are going to have one representative that will be across, in some cases, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of square kilometres, across hundreds of different communities, and be able to come up with the bespoke models in each of those communities uh, and bring it to Canberra and then have, again, go back to the mistakes of the past of having a national approach of national policy will not work. You actually need to sit around the campfires, you need to sit around the town halls, and you actually need elders, local elders and local council to devise the local program because each program will be different 
in Wadair as it will be in Alice Springs, as it is in Cunnamulla, to me, in Warwick. That is the failure of what we have gone down the path of the past. Now, if the Prime Minister, and I've had made these comments public and private, that if the conversation that we as a nation were going to have is that we were to acknowledge Indigenous Australians with constitutional recognition that they were here first, that we have made some mistakes, but we are better having been together and we will be better sticking together. I sense my party. That is where we leave. David Little Proud, the Nationals leader, of course. Uh, he's speaking quickly after we heard from Peter Dutton and the announcement of his wide ranging reshuffle. David Little Proud points out that the Nationals have essentially won out of all of this. There's a coalition agreement between the two parties. It all comes down to quotas. And there is a, a slightly bigger um, qu than expected quota for the Nationals now. But he says it is the right decision for the country in terms of where they have landed with their shadow ministry.